Hello, I'm Colm Hanready from HostelWorld.com and if you want to know what is the Dutch capital's best known street market, what is the best way to get around the city's canals and what are some of its more traditional cafes, go nowhere because here are 10 things you need to know about Amsterdam. On a cobweb of canals and home to some of Europe's most beautiful architecture, Amsterdam is one of the most picturesque cities in the world. Nothing beats spending a day enjoying the city's waterways or soaking up culture in one of its world-class museums. And while it's famous for its liberal attitudes towards sex and drugs, there is much more to the city than a red light district and a bunch of coffee shops. Now, here is the first of those 10 things. Making up approximately 45% of Amsterdam's traffic, the bicycle is by far the easiest way to get around the Dutch capital. And after a number of hours, it will dawn upon you that there are people on bikes absolutely everywhere. There are lots of places around Amsterdam where you can rent bikes. Some companies rent bikes just like the ones the residents use, while other companies rent bikes with their logos all over. But my advice is to rent a bike without a logo on it. This way, you'll fit in with the locals better. Somewhere that rents unbranded bikes is rented by Damstrat, just off Dam Square. But if cycling isn't your thing, you can use the city's trams to get around. The Dutch capital has more than 160 canals and over 1,250 bridges. Make sure to take some time out to stroll along the different canals, admiring the architecture and houseboats along the way. There are lots of different boat tours in Amsterdam, but if you're looking for a fun way to get around the city's canals, try one of these canal bikes. <laughs> the canal bikes are operated by a company called Canalbus and can be rented at four different locations around the city. These include Light Supply and the Anne Frank House. Amsterdam's largest and certainly most famous park is Vondel Park which can be found just south of Leutzepline. It opened its gates back in 1865 when it was originally called New Park, but then after a statue of the famous Dutch poet Joost van den Vondel was erected in 1867, it adopted the name Vondel Park. And if you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle for a few hours, this is the perfect place to do it. Amsterdam is a shopper's dream come true and there are lots of places to treat yourself to some retail therapy. The two main shopping streets are Leidestraat near Leidseplein and the pedestrianised Kaiserstraat which is closer to Central Station and the imposing Magna Plaza is the city's number one shopping centre. If you're looking to pick up a bargain, probably the best place to find one is in the Albert Kauptmarkt, which is also Amsterdam's number one street market. It's located in an area called the Pipe, which is just behind the Heineken Brewery, and here you can pick up everything from clothes to food. Too many people who visit Amsterdam only see the touristy areas around Leutzepline, Dam Square and the Red Light District, but the city has so much more to offer. Your dam near the Anne Frank House is full of quaint streets and boutiques, while in the pipe you'll find bars and cafes along Eerst van der Heldstraat. And right beside the Red Light District is Newmarkt, which is where you'll discover Amsterdam's Chinatown. Located just west of central Amsterdam, Nine Streets or Nechenstraatjes in Dutch is one of the city's most charming areas and one that isn't visited enough by people coming to Amsterdam. The small area is full of specialist stores and second-hand shops, most of which are independently run and owned by locals. It's also full of some really cool cafes and restaurants. If you're on a really tight budget and you're looking for some free things to do, here are a few suggestions. Located behind the square known as Spau, 
Behind Hoff is a tranquil courtyard that was once home to a female religious community and the entrance is free. Another cool thing to do that won't cost a cent is go on a free walking tour operated by New Amsterdam Tours from Dam Square. They last around 3 hours and take in the city's main sights. And if you want to see Amsterdam from the water without having to spend any money, take a trip on one of the free ferries from behind Central Station. Amsterdam is home to some of the world's best known and most fascinating museums. These include the Van Gogh Museum, which houses the world's best collection of the famous painter's work, the Rijksmuseum, which is the Netherlands' largest museum and is home to many well-known works by Rembrandt, and the Anne Frank House, which tells the story of the famous teenager who kept a diary in the building where the museum is housed. Found on the Amstel River, the Hermitage of Amsterdam is one of the Dutch capital's newest and biggest attractions. Located in a beautifully restored 17th century building, this enormous museum has exhibitions on mid-19th century Russia and more. Like in most capital cities, there are hundreds of restaurants in Amsterdam. Here you can take your pick between everything from Greek cuisine to Thai. And in particular, there are lots of Indonesian restaurants and steakhouses. But something that you will only find in the Netherlands is a chain of fast food restaurants called Fabo. Now the way it works is simple. You choose what you want. In this case, I'm going to go for a traditional Dutch croquette. Then you put in your coins and enjoy. And you can find Fabo restaurants all over the city. While Amsterdam is better known for its coffee shops to sell hash and marijuana, all over the city are older cafes known as brown cafes. These are traditional Dutch bars that get their name from their brown stained walls caused by all the cigarettes smoked in them over the years. They're a great place for a coffee in the morning or a beer anytime. Prost. Ones to look out for include Café Hoevel on Prinsengracht near the Rijksmuseum, Café Chris in Jordan which dates back to 1624 and arguably the most famous of all, Café Hoppe on Spau. Because there are so many bars in Amsterdam, a great way to enjoy a night out is on a bar crawl. The best one is called Ultimate Party and if you join this party when you're out in the Dutch capital, you're guaranteed a pretty crazy night. <laughs> The bar crawl, which can be booked by logging onto hostelworld.com forward slash tours, meets in the city's light supply area and visits many of its top bars before ending up in one of Amsterdam's coolest clubs. So that is our 10 things you need to know about Amsterdam. If you haven't planned your trip here just yet, hopefully it will give you a few hints and tips. For a fact sheet on everything that's in this video, log on to www.hostelworld.com forward slash videos and for the biggest and best selection of hostels in Amsterdam on the internet, stay in the same size. <laughs>